Morning. I was going to do this last night, but really, I just couldn't be arsed. Um, <clears throat> right, they've changed their story again. We'll get onto that in a minute. Right, yesterday I went into a cafe, and of course now you've got all these yellow circles all over the fucking floor. It's going to make a fucking mess when you try and take them off, I'll tell you. Uh, so that's that's your, your two meter distancing, obviously. So I went in, and obviously I was going to shit because most people can't be fucking bothered with it now. Um, so I went into this place and I thought, right, I'll stand because there was a guy in front of me. I thought, I'll stand where I feel comfortable, like not too close, not too far away, where you'd normally stand in a queue um, if it wasn't for all those bollocks. And actually, you're only just in front of the yellow circle that you're supposed to be standing in. So with all of us, or most of us, we have a, what well, I don't know what it's called, but it's like an 18 inch parameter all around us. And that is if someone comes into that space that we don't know or we're a bit weary of, that is when we feel threatened. That's our self-protection thing. 18 inches all the way around, right? That's how you know when someone's you feel like someone's standing too close behind you because they're, they're, they're verging on that 18 inches, right? So honestly, so I, I thought, right, I'll stand where I feel comfortable and you are literally just in front of the yellow circle. I mean, the whole thing's a fucking joke. It is just all about fucking control. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Sorry, there's things happening on Facebook keep getting flashy things coming up um so hancock yesterday or the day before i forget said no it's it's now this the virus is being spread because of family social gatherings it's not it's nothing to do with the workplace because of course they're, they're trying to lock everyone down again now aren't they in manchester and wherever else um, and not only could he not answer questions on that, like were they allowed out of the houses, were they allowed to travel, he completely fucking felt the bits on that one apparently, some interview he was doing. Um, no, it's not about the workplace anymore, it's about family, this is what's spreading it, family social gatherings. So they've just confirmed that they've just fucking lied about everything, because what was the point of lockdown then, what was the point of people not going to work and being with members of the family and more likely to be infected? So, this video will probably last a week before it gets taken down, <laughs> like the other one. <laughs> um, yeah, but they're lying as they go along, of course, they always have been, because they've, they've got to make these, these stories up to justify what they're doing then. They've, they've forgotten what they said four months ago, three months ago, two months ago. They'll just change their fucking story. So they're making this stuff up now to justify what they're doing now, but basically that's just exposed the whole fucking fraud. Because the idea now is then that by not going to work and staying at home, we were doing ourselves more damage or causing ourselves more problems. We should have just fucking not bothered with the lockdown, which again is what I said from the beginning. So, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Chopped yourself right in at this time, Matt. 